to solve cold cases in Lincoln County, and this may lead to possible new evidence in a well-known case of a missing girl. Bianca Piper has not been seen since 2005. News Force Alexis Zoto spotlights the efforts to crack cold cases. I spoke with Bianca's mother, who says they're excited about renewed efforts to look into their daughter's disappearance, saying it's long past time for their family to finally get answers on what happened to Bianca. I think they're all important. I think this one's it's a very well known case. Um, it's still fresh enough in, in everybody's memory that they know who Bianca Piper was. This is the face so familiar to many in our region. A smiling 13 year old girl who went missing on March 10th, 2005 near her home in Foley, Missouri. That former home on McIntosh Road was the site of new activity this past Friday as investigators worked to ensure no stone was left unturned. We drain the septic tanks. We're still going through the process of, of reviewing anything that might have been there. Is it possible that there is something still there to find? 100 percent. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, certain things they they don't they don't decompose over time. Um, DNA still is still valid. We've had some great success working with a, an outside company. The sheriff's department is working with a company called Ortham Labs to help solve cold cases. A possible breakthrough in a case from 1984 could be made soon. In 1984, at a pump house here in, in Missouri, a rural area, um, a body was found with a bullet uh, wound to the back of the head. The majority of investigators working on these cases are doing so on a volunteer basis, working to find closure for everyone involved. Solving cases, period, is, is what we want to do. Cold cases are neat because you take somebody like this family for 15 or 20 years, they don't have closure, and a lot, of, a lot of times that's what people want. That's certainly what I would want. Lincoln County Sheriff's Department says they still get tips on the Bianca Piper case. She would be 31 years old today. They are always hoping for that one piece of information that can help them solve this case. Anyone with information, no matter how small, should call investigators. Alexis Zotos, News 4.